and welcome back to my channel. Now I was recently contacted by an artist wanting to know whether I would review some of their books. Now I did have a little look at their books beforehand and I thought oh they're quite interesting actually but then I noticed that it was Amazon printed paper and if you know me you know I don't like that paper. I hate it with a passion actually. So unfortunately I messaged them back and said listen you know I, ca I can't really deal with the paper situation and uh, she did advise me that it's possible in the future that they might uh, look at other avenues of different ways of getting it printed onto better paper but for the meantime what she will do is every purchase of the book you'll get the PDF version with the book as well which I think is brilliant. I think most if not all artists that sell Amazon printed boots they should offer this they should offer this because I know that some of you can work on this paper and you do amazing things on it I'm just not one of them people and I think I'm the majority I'm the majority so these are the books so I'll be doing the same thing I will be um, printing oh, over there printing these off onto different paper uh, but they're super duper thick I did not realise that one's super duper thick I didn't realise how thick that would actually be look at, look at how thick that is uh, I will have the prices of each of the books over the top as I'm uh, flipping through them we'll start off at this one at the back Atla Atlantis Atlas Atlas my English sometimes uh, Botanica Volume 2 Vintage Education Colouring Book Now this is still a decent size It's been squished a bit in that package I think they probably should have put two books in there Not one But it's got uh, a smooth cover I have had a, an Amazon printed book That was like this It's not a glossy cover It is a smooth, a smooth cover So we'll just go through these And there's bits and bobs as well That's the printing of them Right, so I have actually got a book that's very similar to these and it's like um, like old shells and bugs and plants I do believe. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. You'll have to bear with me today, it's a very very gloomy day, very very windy. How my fence hasn't fallen down, I don't know. But we'll go through these pages and like I said, I will no doubt be printing the pages off that I want to colour and not actually colouring in the book, but you never know. You never know, if I just fancy using pencils, maybe I'll give it a try. So they are very grayscale, the pictures. I just think it's unusual, it's not your typical, your typical colouring boots, so it's nice to see something a little bit different as well. They're interesting, aren't they? So I'm wondering whether these are taken from like an actual, like if you had information on this side about the plants I might be wrong in thinking that but because that other page of like A, B, C, D so that's why I'm thinking that but yeah I cannot believe how thick some of these books are you get a lot of pages for your money mind you is that a seed? see that's got an A underneath it that's a strange one as well, isn't it? See, it reminds me of something like um, in a scientific book. That sort of book that like you'd read in uh, science when you was at school. This is what it reminds me of. That looks like the pods and the seeds are inside of it and they're the seeds. We're moving on to flowers now. No, we're still at leaves. And there's a couple of flowers on that one. Look, it even shows you the roots. So does that attach itself to a tree maybe? We've got berries. Oh no fruit. Vegetables. Oh, 
Interesting. They're like prehistoric plants or something, aren't they? Look, and that's a close-up, so you can see all the spines. That's a mega close-up one of the inside of that, as if it was chopped in half. Really cool. The inside of the flower, the stem. I, don't, I forgot about all them sort of lessons. It's been a long time since I've been to school. Is that a cactus. Yeah, so they are very grayscale. These. Yeah, and as you can see, they're printed in Great Britain by Amazon. So that's the first one. Up to Daisy. We'll move on to this one, which is, this one is super duper thick, and I don't think this one's scientific, I could be wrong. Let's just flip through it. I've got a lion there. So I was telling you a little bit about the poet. Oh, have we got stuff on each page? The wolf and the lamb. Wolf meeting the lamb, leading a lamb astray from the fold. Resolved not to lay a violent hands on him. That's interesting. So you got it on each page. I would say you can see. Can you see the outline? You, you can see where it's been scanned in, maybe. I feel like I'm being dumb here, and I, sh I should know what these like. These are based on the fox and the crow. The old lion. I'm going to read these back in my own time because I, I would think I'm going to be interested. The lion and the mouse. Once when, that, when a lion was asleep, a little mouse began running up and up, up and down upon him. They soon wakened the lion, who placed his huge paw upon him and opened his big jaws to swallow him. Pardon, O king, cried the little mouse. Forgive me this time. I shall never forget it. Who knows? But... What I may be able to do, do you return some of these days? The swallow and the other birds, the hares and the frogs. I've never heard of these. A kid and the wolf. Fox and the stork. The fox and the mask. Honestly, I've never heard of these before. Please let me know in the comments down below if you've heard any of these. The snake and the file. Yeah, so they're all poems, aren't they? The fox and the grapes. The fox and the lion. Tortoise and the eagle. The fox without a tail. Oh. Her and the tortoise. I've heard of that one before. The her was once boasting of his speed before the other animals have never yet be been beaten, he said. When I put forth my full speed, I challenge anyone here to race with me. The tortoise said quietly, I accept your challenge, this is a good joke, said the her. I could dance around you all, all the way. I do recognise that one, to be fair. The lion in love. <laughs> this goes to show how uh, immature that I am. The horse and the loaded ass. Yeah, that, that goes, goes to show, doesn't it? Angler and the little fish, the wolves and the sheep, the like and our young ones. I 
I can sort of understand why they've not printed, especially this book on different paper because it's a lot of pages and it's a lot of, with it being the double sided, a lot of ink. I can understand the ape and the dolphin. The ape and the fox, the wolf and the lion. The ass eating thistles. Grow up, Deborah. Grow up. Grow up. It'll be interesting reading some of these back. The boar and the ass. The bear and the goat. The boasting meal. The tunny and the dolphin. Is that a tunny? Is that a type of fish? The bull and the goat. Oh, peacock. The peacock and mud pie. The raven and the swan. The dog and the sheep. The stag looking into the water. Okay, it's really interesting, isn't it? I mean, I don't think I've ever come across a colouring book. Well, for number one, that has so many pages. And it comes with a poem as well on the other side. I've, first time that I've seen this, to be honest. I mean, I don't know how so how much colour you could actually put on a page. Like for this, this one, for instance, you could put a little bit of colour into the feathers. It's mainly the background. But then if you use pencil in the background, it'd take you forever and a day to do that. And you'd have to be really like blending it to make it really smooth. Uh, that one's not too bad. Oh, the geese. I like geese. See, that one's not too bad as well, but you just have a lot of open area. And that, that one's very, very grayscale. So I don't know what this is going to be actually like for colouring. It is marketed as a colouring book, but I have to be honest. Um, we'll see. We'll see. It's very interesting, nonetheless, but I do think that even though it's aimed as a colouring beat and it's aimed for people colouring it in it, I don't know how much you'd want to colour it. If you know, what, if I'm, I'm trying my best to to explain what I mean. Like, if I was doing this page, I'd probably just colour the line and the fox. I wouldn't even bother colouring the background, or maybe like the porcupine and a little bit of the snake. Just add a little bit of colour. I wouldn't feel the need to right, do the crocodile. And to be fair, that's all filled in. Oh, I've got a statue. The mischievous dog. The roller dog. That you could colour all the animals in, in that and then the trees as well. That'd look quite smart. Oops, I'm flipping, missing a page. The stag and the horse. The lion, the bear and the fox. I was waiting for the lion, the witch and the wardrobe then. That's quite a good one with the crab. That shows all the other boots. That is a big, big boot, that one. It's huge, absolutely huge. And then the very last one is, I think it is like all scientific uh, pictures of the animals, if I'm not wrong. This is why I was quite drawn to this. I do love, love David Attenborough and that sort of thing. So this sort of thing does interest me. That's a funky looking fish, isn't it? So this one is single sided. I thought that was a lionfish then at first. Got some frogs as well as fish. What are we coming up to like? Hammerhead shirt and swordfish. This this is pretty cool. This one, crawfish is that. Uh, I think that's called a mudfish. Oh, that one is. They can breathe out of water. I have no idea what that one is. No idea. And that one looks like its jaws actually come out of its mouth. Oh, we've got birds in here as well. I didn't realise that. There was loads of birds. I was. All different types of birds. 
Well, I thought it was just fish. Pelicans and stuff, flamingos, some sort of duck. I thought that was a dodo for a second then. <laughs> Turkey. Oh, we're going to move on to bugs as well. They're crickets or grasshoppers. Beautiful butterflies, so you can colour them in beautifully. Moths. See, I think moths are nicer than butterflies. Oh, no, there's mammals in here as well. And all the horns. Interesting. Bull. Is that some type of goat? And that's the end. That's the end. So I do really find these boots really interesting and the fact that these have got poems in as well. That'd be interesting if we read them later. But yeah, so, something completely different. And like I said, I wouldn't have agreed to do this review if the PDF version wasn't available with the purchase of these books. So I'll have these linked down below. I did get these off Amazon UK. Amazon UK, but they are available on Amazon.com. I did check. But nonetheless, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the artist that uh, asked me to review these books. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.